it's Becca here. Welcome to our very first episode of The Roadmap. We're really excited to bring you this series, and we started it because we wanted to give an insider look into our journey as a company. So often, companies hide their journey, and they don't want to show how the sausage is made. They just want to present the final polished product to the world. But we actually think there's a lot of value in that journey and in highlighting everything that goes into bringing a new idea to life. Even the simplest products have so many minute details and a lot of thought and debate and careful decisions that go into building the product the way that it is. Therefore, we wanted to provide a window into this process and show you how our product, Lasso, is getting built. We're going to use each episode of the roadmap to do a deep dive into a particular feature or a piece of functionality, and I will be delving into how and why it came to be. For our first episode, I actually want to start at the beginning and give you a peek at how someone goes about coming up with an idea for a new product. So the focus of this episode is going to be Lasso's origin story. Before I jump in, just to set some context for those of you who aren't familiar, Lasso is a mobile financial app that aims to create more financial inclusion by offering a better starting point for people to engage with their money. Specifically, Lasso tackles two of the first steps someone should take to get their money in order. It has an experience that lets anyone build a simple financial plan and find someone who can help. Now, how did we land on that idea? Well, every good product starts with a problem that they're trying to solve for. And our team's background is in the wealth management industry. Collectively, we have decades of experience working in finance. And one of the questions that we kept getting asked again and again is, how do we get people more engaged with their money? Now, this question is really important because the finance industry's goal is to provide products or services that help people solve their money problems. But if people are not engaged with their money, then they may not even know what problems they have to solve and won't be able to find any of those great or innovative solutions. There's, of course, a lot of effort put towards solving this problem, and a lot of times the solution is focused on education. The thinking goes that if we can increase people's financial financial literacy, they will understand more about their finances and the problems they are facing, and then ultimately be able to find the solutions to fix those problems. But what we see is most Americans are still managing their own money and often without a formal plan, which sounds more to me like the opposite of engagement. So instead of focusing on asking people to learn more about finance, we wanted to flip the script. How can people in the industry scale down knowledge to make finance more accessible to the everyday person? This would mean stripping out a lot of the complexity and the jargon and creating tools that anyone can pick up and intuitively use to have insights about their money. And that is exactly the experience we wanted to build here at Lasso. But there are so many aspects to people's financial lives. So the question was, where do we begin? Well, we thought the no-brainer answer was at the beginning. (laughs) There are huge hurdles that people face to even taking the first step to improve their finances. So we felt like that was going to be the right place to start. Building a plan and finding someone who can help you with that plan are steps one and two. Yet, if you've ever tried to do either of those activities, you may have experienced some of the hurdles with getting started. Financial planning can be a daunting process. It usually involves pulling together a ton of data, data about your financial life, data about your current life circumstances, and data about what could happen to you in the future, like how many kids or grandkids you're going to have and where you're going to retire. If you do manage to pull all that together, then the result is often pages and pages of charts and stats and probabilities and projections that can also be really confusing. Then trying to find someone who can help you with this is also a pretty daunting undertaking. It's not hard to figure out who to go to. Financial advisors are clearly people who have dedicated their whole careers to specializing in exactly this. Uh, But the process of actually finding a financial advisor to work with 
falls almost entirely on consumers. And sifting through Google results is a really hard way to figure out who might be a good match. So to go back to the original problem of how to get people engaged with their money, we felt like the answer was in lowering the barriers to entry and taking the burden off of consumers to do so. We wanted to help people take the first steps of building a financial plan and finding someone who can give them advice on that plan and actually implement it. And that is where Lasso fits in. It is a mobile platform for consumers and advisors that meets people where they are and offers quick interactive experiences. We've simplified and gamified the financial planning process so that anyone can do it. And we've created a community that brings consumers and financial advisors together and makes it really easy for them to connect and for people to get the advice that they need. We think if we can start there and get people started on the process and connected with the right people to help, that will open up the door for greater financial inclusion. Today, I'll give you a sneak preview of the advisor side of the product. Here you'll see where consumer plans that have been created will appear for the advisors and advisors then have the opportunity to engage with people over these plans that they have, of it, that they have on the platform. It's fast and simple and easy to use and highly interactive. Tune in for our next episode where I'm going to do a deep dive on our thinking about simplifying the financial planning process. So if you're interested in that topic, tune in then. Till next time.